Professor, you heard what the White House press secretary has to say, not to forget what the Democrats are also saying. Uh, they're calling it a diversionary tactic by the Republicans or the grand old party. They say this uh, is, of course, being associated with Donald Trump's looming third indictment as well. Uh, not to forget if you refer to what the White House press secretary was saying, uh, she's clearly demarcated uh, how they, there is a bias because you know, this is a case that is also being presided over by a judge that was appointed by Donald Trump and that if uh, Democrats or even President was trying to evade that, then he would have perhaps tried to pull strings to rescue his son. And that is something that has not happened. How do you weigh in on the kind of defense that is being put up by the Democrats? Again, I, I, if I'm the Democrat, uh, I have no choice but to do the same. Right now, they are battling an election with uh, a president who is um, definitely um, one of the oldest running president in the country. Um, you know, people are worried about his ability to continue for the next next term. Um, but now on top of it, you know, you're getting corruption charges, uh, drug possession charges by his son, especially relationship to countries like China and Ukraine, where we are now involved in a, in a war um, and, and funding um, in, in the country of Ukraine. So everyone, everything comes into question, his, uh, his discretion, um, his uh, presidential um, powers. Um, so again, it, I would have believed what the Democrats said if there was no uh, whistleblowers, if no proof came out, if the IRS um, career investigators did not come up and say these things, we would have never known about it. This would have been gone, forgotten, the sweetheart deal would have been signed, and uh, Hunter Biden would have been okay, and President Bush, uh, President sorry, President Biden would have been would have been you know as a regular non-corrupt president running against you know another than uh, uh, indicted President Trump. So now that's changed. What I think what's changed is this um, testimony we heard in the past uh, few days and few weeks. The investigations now coming in, and people now started digging deeper into. So it, it becomes difficult to cover up when you have proof coming up, when you have career non-political investigators risking their own career and telling the truth, saying that they they tried and they were their hands were tied. They were told not to ask questions regarding the father of Hunter Biden, even while questioning him. They were denied access, you know, to um, his children. So the grandkids of the president, you know, so there are, uh, you know, to justify why they were paid millions of dollars from overseas firms. So the the, the plot is much larger than you know just a tax evasion. It is that is not even the story here. The story is why was this money coming from overseas? Why 17, 18 million dollars were coming in from China, Chinese companies, some of them state owned by the Chinese Communist Party. So that is a clear conflict of interest for any sitting American president uh, or a vice president, you know, to be receiving, you know, to his family members. And that, you know, American people will not see through that. So they were trying, I think they're trying their best to hide that um, in the in the cover up of this tax evasion. This is tax evasion is just a, just a cover up. It's not a big deal. Um, um, you know, they paid the taxes and it's now it's just a, you know, probation. Um, you know, mm -hmm. the gun control by itself, mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a larger charge um, mm -hmm. just because it's a Democrat um, and, and because he's convicted of uh, drug possession, he has history of, uh, you know, drug abuse. Uh, and using other other illegal um, sub substances. But, you know, if this deal does not get approved, you could see a much larger, uh, much deeper questions into the operations of, of uh, the, the Biden family and foreign corporations which are involved. What did these companies get in return? Absolutely. Why am I right. a Chinese uh, Communist Party controlled company paying $5 million to the grandchild of a sitting president or a sitting vice president? It, you know, people want to know. 